Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is Madden 17 on EA Sports. This week's matchup featuring two teams who both came away with wins a week ago and know it should be a good battle today. It's the Colts going up against the Rams. And we'll send you over to L.A. now, where Brandon Godden and Charles Davis have the call. Well, Larry, there's a new stadium set to open in Inglewood in 2019, but for now, we're in the heart of the city of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Indianapolis Colts and the Los Angeles Rams. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They've been cooking these last couple months, winners of seven of their last eight games. And if you extrapolate that out to a full season, they'd be 14-2. and two. And anyone in the NFL today would sign up for that. Meanwhile... situation what can this defense do what will they do to try to get this to fourth down now a play fake and it's locked going for the deep ball and this throw will be intercepted a great read and it's picked off and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Play fake here on first down. He's got time in the pocket. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. First blood drawn by Bakari Rambo. This is such a good read defensively. They know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at him. And this one winds up being intercepted. See this thing play out here. Big third down situation. Can they prevent them from getting to the marker? One receiver left is Hilton. Off of play action. Luck. He's going to try and go deep again. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to... job on first and second down now it's third down can this defense rise to the challenge for the final stop and they'll add a db in the secondary here on third and 14. anderson buying time to his left sideline throw it's complete and a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds I know where we're headed on this. Terrific catch. Gets his feet down. Sets up a fourth down and short situation. But I bet we're wondering, why didn't he get to the first down marker running his route? Am I correct? Tight, tight. Tight. Here we go now. No, 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 no. Check. 
They're running with Gurley. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. One well, of the hallmarks of their success this year. So the offense now in the red zone here, looking for a score. Let's see what they draw up. Green, 39. Now it's Gurley. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. Back to throw here. He's going to find his man. That's Tavon Austin. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Try on second down with Gurley. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Todd Gurley hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Rams have taken the lead. first half as we get you back out to the action and now out on the field here comes Los Angeles and that last drive was very very balanced pretty methodical you think they go that route again I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something I'm going to continue and I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do but the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays looks like a run turn into a play action and throw one deep and he slings one that's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. Now let's go. Green, 39. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And it's complete to Brent. A big play there for L.A., 43 yards. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. And now a first down following that long game. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Anderson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and forced an incompletion. 
Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the miss. Get into the action here as the kicking unit is on the field looking to pick up three. And Zerline's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. situation what can this defense do what will they do to try to get this to fourth down back to the workhorse today it's Gurley and he's gonna have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17 yard line I always appreciate runners who understand situations that was just third and inches no reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play just go pick up the first down and that's exactly what he did Now in Los Angeles. It's the Rams out in front here. They've got control of the football as well as we get set for the fourth quarter. Second down. Quite the uptick here from last week as the numbers show. I guess if you're a coordinator with, with how much you base your offense around a guy like this, do you say this week we're going to get him involved early? We have to. No doubt about it. You know, a lot of guys script their plays to start out. I think in their script, they had the first Just five plays. His name on there. Four of them were right to him. Get him the football. Get him involved early. That'll help the overall offense. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you've got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And that pickup of a first down, 
That's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Rams add on to their lead. Well, let the natural light of today reflect that he is now getting into the end zone two times. Look at you. You're a little uh, Ralph Waldo. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. All right, let's see this thing play out here. Big third down situation. Can they prevent them from getting to the marker? The one running back is Gurley. And he'll get it up the middle. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. And Gurley having a big day, and they're winning. That's a big reason why. So a good job on first and second down. Now it's third down. Can this defense rise to the challenge for the final stop? And on third down, the Colts have added an extra defensive back. Flooding the passing lanes. And he'll be out bounds able to take this one down to the 20 yard line the 13 yards that time at the first and how about that on third down so many different directions that offense can go throw it out wide to the receivers get it to their speedy running back they changed up everything and handed it to the fullback and he surprised them all and picked up a first down The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too? So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams are victorious here as we say so long from Exposition Park in L.A.